Okay, today I'm going to be tying the California Shad Fly number four. This fly is part of the Pfeiffer collection. In the vise, I have a Mustad 34007 and a size four. And I'll be tying this fly with some UTC 140 and a yellow color. <clears throat> I'm going to start by laying down a base of thread, and I'm going to start that about one and a half, one and a half eye lengths behind the eye. Go ahead and take our thread down to the barb, snip away the excess, and then return to our tie-in point. Okay, for the tail I'm going to be using some yellow kip tail, and I want that to be about as long as the uh, shank of the hook. And I'm going to go ahead and tie that in uh, at the tie-in point, and then bring our thread back down to the barb. and then back up again. And I do that just so we have a consistent um, width of body. For the ribbing I'm going to be using some medium oval tinsel and again I like to tie that in um, at our tie-in point. bring down to the barb, bring the thread down to the barb and then back up and I'll cut away you know, four or five inches of that. For our body I'm going to be using some white uni floss and I'll go ahead and tie that in at our tying point as well. and then bring your thread back four and I'm gonna go ahead and pull off about 18, 18 inches or so of uh, floss you want enough floss to, to wrap the body twice I'm gonna go ahead and start to wrap the body and I'll take the floss back down to the butt of the fly again and then return to our tie-in point. And doing this twice you end up with a shinier body and the yellow uh, thread tends not to bleed through so it's worth the extra time.
go ahead and capture our floss with our thread and snip away the excess. And we'll go ahead and wrap our tinsel body, our tinsel ribbing. And just capture that with our thread. One more wrap there. And snip away the excess. <clears throat> now to protect the floss and, and ribbing, I'm just going to touch this with uh, some Sally Hansen's. and we'll just let that dry. All right, next we're gonna tie in a throat and I'm also going to use some yellow kip tail for that. And same thing, I'm just gonna pull away any of the fluff and then grab by the tips and pull any of the shorter hairs out. <clears throat> and then I want my throat to be about as long as uh, the distance between uh, the tie-in point and the uh, hook tip. And I like to just lift up the throat and uh, make a pass behind the throat with the thread, maybe one or two passes, and then we can bring our thread forward, make a couple of turns in front of the excess and then snip it away. Alright, for the wing I'm going to be using some red kip tail. Uh, the, the pattern does call for a red kip tail wing, however, um, when the fly is pictured in both the original book and the reprint, um, it, it's missing its red wing, so I'm not sure what happened there. But I'm going to tie it the way the original pattern calls for. And you want the wing to be about the length of the, ta <clears throat> the tail. I'm just going to snip away the excess. Go ahead and build up a nice size head now uh, because the pattern calls for painted on red eyes. Looks pretty good. Give it a whip finish. and snip away our thread. Before I paint on the eyes, I'm just going to touch those thread wraps with some Sally Hansen's.
and we'll let that dry. Alright, our head is dry. Next I'm going to paint on some red eyes. I just have some red nail polish and a small nail that I filed the tip off of. I'm just going to dip the nail into the nail polish and get a little drop on the end of that nail and then just touch the head with the drop of paint to create a small eye. Something about like that. Um, so I'll let that dry and then hit it with another coat of Sally Hansen's, but I'll do that off camera. So that is the California Shad Fly number four.